guys, what is going on? Finally, I'm letting you see the newest addition to the Workplay TV channel. Lots of work on this channel, so now it's time for some play. It's time to buy something for play. Oh yeah, by the way, I uh, had to wash up the truck today. Get all that salt off it. Didn't get a chance to wash this bad boy though. Anyway, let's head down, head down, take a look at what we got going on. A few guys guessed what this was, a couple guys guessed wrong. Some guys were guessing skid steers, some guys were guessing tractors, snowmobiles, side by sides. So, what is it? Well, here it is. Alright guys, so there they are. Yeah, not there it is. There they are. We have two 2017 Maverick Sport 1000 R's. Can-Am, of course. So these are the newest side-by-side Can-Am is manufacturing. They came out with the Maverick Trail, the 50 inch. Now they just came out with these, the Maverick Sport 60 inch. So 60 inch wide wheelbase. They are 90, like just over 90 inches long. So they're about 10 inches longer than, you know, the competition, the Players General. The Razor, you know, generations of the Razors. So that gives you a smoother ride overall. So what's on these things? What's in these things? So it's a 1000 R, 100 horsepower, so a full 100 horsepower. If you get the standard 1000, you get 75 horsepower. This is the 1000 R, so you're going to get a full 100 horsepower. Fox podium shocks all the way around. Max's big horn tires all the way around. The fronts are 27 by 9 by 12s. In the backs are 27 by 11 by 12s. These are pretty good tires, they're not bad tires. They're good tires for all around in all sort of situations. So you got 12 inches of ground clearance with these things. You have 11 and a half inches of suspension travel. Actually, I believe it's 11 and a half in the front, 12 and a half of suspension travel in the back. That gives you a lot of travel. This is also obviously the DPS version of this bike, which gives you power steering. It gives you this LED light bar, like daytime running light sort of thing that comes on both of them. It also gives you the fender flares, which you can tell by this bike, you need them. As dirty as it is now, imagine if these fender flares were not here. So here's the story, fellas, here's the story. My father-in-law was looking at side-by-sides. He was looking at the Commanders. And I've driven the Commanders, and they're a nice machine, don't get me wrong. But I find that the cab is quite noisy because the engine is very close to where the driver is sitting. Very close where the driver is sitting. I also find that it's very tight inside the Commanders for elbow room. They don't come with a full door either, but just with the way it's designed, there's a bar right here on the commander and I find two people sitting side by side there's not a whole lot of room so he was looking at them and I started to you know doing some research on these and I said man you got to check out the Maverick Sports so he checked out the Maverick Sports and he ended up falling in love with it so the dirty bike is his so you know why not just go for it and get one 
So, this one is my father-in-law's. This one is ours. So we each have our own. So that's pretty awesome, pretty exciting. You can tell his is dirty, he's retired. <laughs> he took his out yesterday. It's very warm the last few days here. All of our snow is gone. So the trails are quite muddy and quite wet with water holes. His is dirty, ours is clean. What do we have added on to these things that don't come with it? If you just get, you know, the Can-Am Maverick Sport 1000R DPS, you get everything on here except for the super winch. We got the super winch added. Uh, the bumpers, we put these bumpers on. They're called Doom, Doom, Doom bumpers. We put those on ourselves. Only takes about 15 minutes. So you can tell there's ours, you know, nice and clean. Here's the back ones. This one was a little bit tricky because you need to get that bolt in through there. But you can definitely do it yourself. Instructions uh, come online with these. So there's the clean one. And honestly, this is a very good accessory. They're 300 bucks each Canadian, but if you back into something, you know, you're out in the trail, you're messing around, you're doing some stuff you shouldn't be doing. If you back into something and you hit this, all right, it might scratch it, it might dent it, it might warp it, who the hell knows, but you're not gonna break this plastic because this plastic is one solid piece. And I guarantee you that plastic is more than 300 bucks. So the back ones were definitely sort of a necessity you know, a very good purchase, but we just went ahead and got got them both front and back, protect all the plastics. This bar comes with, this bar comes with, this is the add-on, this bumper piece right here. So to the machine itself, you know, I mentioned the I mentioned the commanders are sort of tight inside the cab. Well with this, you get a full door and they're up nice and high. So it protects you from, you know, branches, trees, um, you know, anything sort of that could potentially come in and poke you, jab you, fly at you, rocks flying at you. It protects you from a lot of that stuff. And these doors, honestly, these are the best doors I've ever seen on a side-by-side -side in my life. Open them up. There's a rubber seal that goes all the way along these doors. Now they, they say these doors are waterproof. There is little small gaps into them. If you're, if you're going through, um, if you're going through a river or a lake and you come up above this seal, you're probably gonna get some water inside, but it's all, the drain plugs are obviously all angled to carry that water out. So when you get inside, you close the door, you know, sort of take a look at my elbow here. I have tons of room, tons of room, because they got the doors bowed out. The doors are bowed out, so you got tons of room in here. That's the problem I didn't like with the commander is that you, your, your bar, the bar was right there and you're hitting your elbow all the time. And this here, you're in, you're locked in your seat, you're ready to go. I haven't been in, I haven't been in mine with anybody yet, but Jim was in his yesterday with a buddy of his and they're two full grown men sitting side by side. He said it was extremely comfortable and it rode like a dream. So you're in here, the steering wheel, adjust, up, you know, you got lots of steering wheel play. You can adjust it up and down. Right there, it's obviously all the way up. And right here, it's all the way down. It all depends on what you want. So you obviously got your four wheel drive, two wheel drive selector. This is your winch control. This is sport mode and eco mode. Eco mode is what we're in right now because the machines technically aren't broken in yet. It's not past their, their break-in period. This eco mode is really what you'd want to use if you're just climbing through slow trails and, and, and woods and things like that because it makes the throttle much smoother and it limits your throttle to 75%. So this is perfect for doing, you know, small trail riding and, you know, things along that nature, climbing over logs and stuff because the throttle is just not so touchy. You put it in sport mode and it's a complete new animal. This thing will just fly. So we've had them in eco mode for the majority of the time so far and you can still do 90 clicks. 90 kilometers an hour, no problem in eco mode. The things still get up and go. Storage wise, you've got storage right here above the steering wheel. And this is a massive storage container here. 
you can fit a lot of stuff in there it goes very 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 deep in there also the cup holders in this machine and also in the majority of the can-ams are the best cup holders by far got these little rubber tabs here and they actually hold drinks in place I've been in other other side-by-sides and you might as well not even use them because your cups are flying all over the place but it's a very roomy 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 cab very nice place to be so again looking at the doors you can see that bowed out that gives you that much more arm you know the much more elbow space the seats Can-Am calls it their ergo lock seats so when you're in it gives you that sports car feeling because because your sitting position is quite low and they sort of tilt you back a little bit so once you're in and you're sitting there you just lean back and you're ready to go like the passenger really yes there's a holy crap handle there but you don't even really need it you sit back and you lean you lean against the back of the machine the back of the seat and it's very very comfortable you just honestly with all these new machines they ride so smooth all the new side-by-sides ATVs all that stuff they ride so smooth you see bumps coming you know older machines you brace yourself you take the hit these you see big bumps coming you hit and there's just nothing there's nothing there's no real response the suspensions is so incredible fox is you know the leader when it comes to suspensions and they have them here obviously high beam and low beam switch here you know all your digital displays are up here speedometer tachometer um, time your clock all that sort of stuff you've got your you've got your 12 volt plug right here for anything any accessories you want to put on we don't have anything in here yet what we're looking at definitely is going to be the roof. It's going to be the first thing we're going to get on here. And then we're looking at a windshield. Probably maybe a two-piece windshield, but at least a half windshield. When you close the doors, very nice feeling. They're not going nowhere. Nice and tight. So we were cruising in these machines, uh, you know, about a week ago. You know, I'm flying around turns doing 60, 70 kilometers an hour. I got one hand on my steering wheel and I'm just sitting back like there's nothing to it whatsoever. There's no rattles, no shakes in the machine at all. We haven't had a lot of hours on these things. Obviously you can tell by how clean mine is, but just very, very, very impressed with them so far. And honestly, when the players first came out with the Generals, I loved the look of them. I absolutely loved the look of them. That's sort of what I was leaning towards until Can-Am came out with these. I have Can-Am ATVs, I have an Outland 650 Outlander Max XT and an 800 Outlander Max XT and they came up with this thing and I just fell in love with it instantly. I love the way it looks from behind with the you know exposed Fox shocks and the orange coils that match the color of the paint, same as the yellow. I just love, love the look of it. Back end, the tailpipe sort of has this you know odd shaped tailpipe which is awesome you know there's the Fox shocks and in the front end very nice look again very mean look and honestly the headlights the headlights are very good for stock for stock headlights they're they are quite impressive but one of the reasons why we bought this bumper is because it comes ready, mounted holes are already here. We did purchase the 10 inch Can-Am light bar. So these bikes are getting a 10 inch Can-Am light bar. They're gonna be going on both of these. Definitely a roof on both of these and a version of a windshield. We're not exactly sure on the windshields yet. The roofs are probably gonna be the, the plastic uh, polycarbonate one. Those are probably gonna be the both ones going on that. I believe they call it the sport roof. Um, comes with you know like sort of factory skid plates hard plastic the polycarbonate skid plates which do protect pretty much everything you need to worry about you can get you can get a skid, a skid plate kit that covers your a-arms as well we're probably not going to be doing too much crazy rock crawling and sort of things like that so we're not sure if we're going to purchase those or not but hey you never know I did mention the one thing I didn't like about the Commander is that the engine was very close to the seating position of the driver and passenger which made the cabs very noisy. With this here it is a lot like the General. Like, that's one of the big reasons why I like the Polaris General because the engine is at the back of the machine which doesn't make it near as loud inside the cab. 
and honestly it is it's a huge 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 improvement from the commander like massive massive improvement from the commander for cab noise now of course you can purchase accessory uh, accessory stereos from can-am i believe the one's called the wet sound you can mount that right up here and then you don't hear any engine noise you just listen to the tunes pumping the whole way down the trail so you know when you get in the passenger side obviously the same thing this seat does not adjust back and forth only the driver's seat does this one is all the way back there is a load of room in here the foot room is great again look at the elbow room the elbow room is is perfect like it is it's very good you got a handle there to hold on to you have like an armrest here if you wanted to it's very comfortable but honestly you can just sit here and cross your arms put your hands by your side and you're, you're good to go like you are you are set nice nice solid handle here open it up climb out close it up nice and solid very nice and solid this is the two colors that the Can-Am Maverick Sport 1000R DPS come in they come in this is just yellow and then this is called Can-Am Red and I don't know about your eyes but that's orange to me and it's very sharp very very sharp looking color I love I love both colors but I love the Can-Am Red which is orange like this color but anyway guys that's it for now that's just kind of like the unveiling the reveal of what we bought just a walk around of the machine obviously it's going to be lots of trail or riding videos once we get out and start testing these things you know we'll do some good good open driving so we'll test out the speed and the response of these we'll do some mud driving and see how they are in the mud they can tow 1500 pounds so you know they're still or they're still a utility machine so you can still use them hook a trailer tow your wood around the yard whatever you want to do um, the backs don't dump but that's not what you're buying this machine for if you want something that dumps get a defender get a Polaris Ranger you know this is this is the best of everything guys but anyway you know we're just getting started obviously with this channel and with you know this end of it so I told you we got some play we got some serious play serious play I mean come on look at those things eh but anyway you know as always stay tuned for a lot more videos of these coming out these machines are pretty much brand new on the market so there's not much out on them yet so you know stay tuned because I'm gonna be making tons of videos on this thing. Um, so, you know, as always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I got more videos coming out. Lots of videos on these, the trucks, you know, everything else, obviously. But, uh, you know, as always, guys, take care, be safe, work hard, get her done. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I hope you are. All right, guys, see ya. Bye.